So I'm Raquel Messager and this installation, audiovisual installation, is called A Crash Course in Cloud Spotting. Brackets, the subversive act of horizontality. So I discovered that scientists um, were using the sound of stars and the sa stars really do make sound like um, musical instruments, they create harmonics. So ISH, as it stands at the moment, is a work in progress but it's going to be developed further um, and it's a new piece of dance that's exploring dyspraxia and in betweenness. This artwork was a development of one of my more kind of traditionally me political ephemeral pieces um, and we were given the R&D to transform this into a much more experiential kind of installation. What does R&D mean to my practice? It means being able to play and hopefully make um, riskier choices than you do if you feel like it's being judged as a final piece. R&D is always vital. You can't move forward in your practice, I don't think. You can't explore new ideas that become exciting works um, unless you have R&D. It's super important, actually, R&D, um, because it's really hard to go straight from um, a conception of something or a really small version of something to be able to kind of um, understand the process and what is going to need to be in place to, to, to kind of realise your ultimate vision. And if you're like me, and I, I like to work big, you know, um, and it involves a lot of engineering and a lot of project management. And you actually need that, that, that middle way where someone's going to fund you to kind of troubleshoot the engineering problems and figure out how to get from A to B, you know, via A and a half kind of thing. It's, it basically it's crucial. Like, I cannot I could not have Ish without the support that Unlimited have given me, without the time, the resources, the funds, you know, the, the human resources and the people that they've set me up with and the opportunities they put me on. The, the work wouldn't even be in development at all. It, it just can't be. I'm really interested to see what people think today, to test it out again, because we've tested it in a public space and this time we're testing it in a dedicated space, to see which parts of the installation are really speaking to people, which parts of the narrative and the emotional links that we're trying to create, what's landing and what's not, so that we know what to take forward. Uh, to have that room to explore without having to produce an end product um, and be allowed uh, for your lines of inquiry to go off in different directions, which may lead nowhere, may lead to something serendipitous, um, or may give you ideas for future projects. Um, so it's, it, it is really important. I make performance, I make dance work, so to be able to try out ideas, to be able to be in a space and just like develop things first, research with my body and then begin to solidify things in a space that isn't like, well in a space that's open enough for that development, it's not like okay you've got a week, make it.